All right, so what's up guys, Benji D here from Get Fix. Every time you go to change your coolant or if you wanna test to see if your water pump works, what you wanna do is go through a procedure of bleeding the system. Now, if you have an electric water pump on your BMW, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to test to see if your water pump works. Now, if you're noticing other electronics, not just the water pump, but also the thermostat, certain things in your engine bay not functioning, then it could be a blown fuse. It's fuse 10. I think that's slot 26, or it could be your electronic control module, the ECM. I think it looks something like this, and it's beneath your um, fuse box right here. And my problem was actually the ECM, electronic control module, for all the electronics in the engine bay. So my water pump looked like it wasn't working, my thermostat wasn't working, my EVAP system was throwing up error codes. So check this module right here. Once again, it's beneath the um, fuse box. It looks just like this. Somehow mines went out. I forgot the lid off of my motherboard. It got pressure washed and I was experiencing a whole bunch of um, electronic issues. So I think it short circuited this. That's one. And it blew out fuse 26 or fuse 10 slot 26 on my fuse box. I actually tore the whole car apart trying to figure out what was wrong with it. And finally, after about three, four, maybe six days, we finally figured it out. I did change the water pump. I didn't change the thermostat because um, first of all, it's a difficult process. It's harder to do by yourself if you're not with a second person. It's hard to reach, that's one. The tubes that's connected to it is extremely hard to get off, um, but there is a way to do it, obviously. But anyways, I am gonna be showing you the procedure or process to bleed your system of your BMW whenever you change your coolant in your car. But once again, if you're looking to see if your water pump works, you could also do this procedure to figure that out. Now I am going to have my brother take off the cap just so when it starts bleeding the system, you'll be able to see the water run through. So here's what you do. You're going to put the key in the ignition. That's step one. You're going to put it on the accessory position, aka the on position. So that's one click, two click where all the lights come on, your iDrive system comes on and your AC comes on. So here's what you're going to do. You're actually going to put the fan, which is this right here, the fan speed on the lowest settings. You're going to make sure that your AC is turned off, the auto is off, and the only thing that's currently on right now is the fan, right? Lowest settings to turn on the heater core or open up the heater core. Now you're going to put your um, temperature on the hottest settings. Mine, for example, is, let's see, 76, 78, 80, 82. The highest setting on mine is 82, so you're going to crank it up to the highest setting. Once again, it is going to open up that heater valve. Now, once you do that, what you want to do is put your foot on the gas and you're going to hold it there for anywhere from 10 to 12 seconds max. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now you should hear the water pump activating now and it should be doing it. If you look here, you are gonna see a stream of water flowing through the um, reservoir. That is the water pump activating and circulating the coolant. Now, the reason you're gonna to wanna to bleed your system is to get rid of any trapped air bubbles. That is gonna cause your engine to run rough. It could even cause it to heat up if it's um, preventing circulation of coolant. So once again, you do wanna bleed your system every single time you change the coolant. Now, this is about a 12 minute process, so it's probably gonna kill your battery if you don't have it hooked up to power. So expect to have to jump your car or just hook it up to power and charge the battery while this process is happening because it drains a lot of battery. And this is normal, it's gonna cycle on and off. Now, if yours is spurting every one second, two seconds, that means your water pump is about to give up, it's about to go out. So be extremely careful because once your engine starts heating, it's gonna cause a lot of issues for you, I promise you. Um, coolant's not gonna be able to probably circulate through a system Therefore, it's gonna cause your pipes to overheat or your, um, your, I said pipes, what the fuck are they? Cause your coolant lines to overheat and they might end up blowing up because I experienced it recently. Take a look at this. A lot of my engine electronics actually went out because of that module. So I was experiencing hell the whole week. See, pressure build up right there at the oil filter housing. And it caused a whole bunch of oil to spurt out because it was nothing but straight pressure of coolant, hot boiling coolant coming from the reservoir, causing a whole bunch of pressure on my pipes. And this blew out. I was on 95, I-95, and it caused like the whole car to go in smokes. Um, that lower pipe down there, I keep saying pipe, that lower coolant line down there also um, busted out. And I do have a video on how to fix that. 
This one, we had to modify it in order to get the holes over to clamp it. So it's holding up pretty well, but I am going to have to change that part at some point. Well, there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know what it is down in the comments below. I am going to have videos on how to fix your electronics, fix anything interior, all your wiring. Now, if you go to change your ECM and you also go through a bleeding process and it doesn't work, then it probably is your water pump or your thermostat. So you are going to want to change both of them because that's what you're supposed to do. Now, most cars have manual pumps, which requires you to go through a long process of bleeding your system. The automatic pump makes it a lot easier because it's circulating for you. It's doing everything it needs to do for you. You don't have to lift a finger. And there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know what it is down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, Benji D here from Get Fixed, and I am out. Peace.